Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Keith Thompson, and I'd like to share with you guys really quickly a dream that I had a couple days ago that I was just thinking about this morning. And if you've ever had a dream where I'm sure most of you had at some point in your life, you've had this dream where you're running. I was running and it was two people with me and we were running in the woods and we were running from something. I don't know if it was a zombie or what, but it was chasing us. And the whole dream was basically us running and this thing getting close to catching us, but never catching us. And that was just the whole dream until I woke up. And I remember when I woke up, I thought, um, I just, it made me think about the TV show, The Walking Dead. And before I was saved, um, back in 2010, I think the show started in 2009, 2010. Uh, but I remember being a big fan of the show before I was saved. And uh, I haven't seen much of it lately. Um, I just, just found out this morning that they're like 10, 10 seasons deep. But uh, there were I remember in the either the first or second season, there was a scene where Rick and his group were trapped somewhere. Rick is the leader of the group and they were trapped and it was like seven or eight of them. And one of them had the information or the knowledge to know that one of the ways to get through a horde of zombies, the walking dead was to actually cut one of the zombies open and to use its entrails, its guts and blood and smear it on them so that the zombies couldn't smell them or notice them. So that's exactly what the group did. They took one of the zombies, they opened it up, and they smeared the blood all over them. And they were able to walk through the horde of zombies. And so there was this picture where you have Rick and his group walking down a large street, a wide open street. 400 zombies walking towards them. Just easily and effortlessly walking towards Rick and his group. And Rick and his group who are covered in his blood are walking through very slowly, very delicately through the, the horde of zombies. And I thought about that and... That's one of the, the greatest illustrations of repentance I've seen as far as being able to take an instance from a TV show and apply it to the Bible. We as Christians, as we know, are surrounded by the walking dead. We're actually living this in real life, okay? We who are in Christ have received life, but we are surrounded by nothing but dead people, people who are the walking dead. And so Rick and his group walking through the group, the opposite direction, is exactly what repentance is, which is to change one's mind, to change direction, to do a 180, to turn the other way, to look to Christ and to put our hope in God and to move that way. And so what we're doing is, as Christians, we're walking through, okay, the walking dead, the opposite direction, okay? And another great point is the way that Rick and his group had to move through the group, it was hard. OK, those who are walking towards destruction, which was the zombies, they're just, you know, it's, it's easy for them. They're, there's no there's no stress. There's no they're just walking and it's easy. They don't have to worry about anything. Right. But those who are in Christ and Rick's group, who were the ones who were actually alive, they're struggling to get through this horde of zombies. OK, they're tripping they're 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 they're, they're, they're bumping into them and wondering, oh, am I going to wake them up or. You know, so it, it was it was not easy for them, but they were actually walking in a direction to safety. And so that's just, to me, a great illustration of what Christians are going through in this life. We're going the other direction. It's not easy. We're going against the grain and uh, but we're headed in the right direction. So I just wanted to kind of lay that out. Um, thank you guys for listening.